Good evening. I am James Adderley. Welcome to Sports Monday on a Tuesday. It was an unbelievable 4 nil scored issue to the Belize national football team inside the Isidoro Beaton Stadium last Thursday night in CONCACAF Nations League play. In four outings, our team has three points to show from a record of one win and three losses. These three points came from yesterday's 1-0 away win over St. Kitts and Nevis. Two minutes into the ball game, the St. Kitts keeper comes out of his goal to halt the Belize offense with this foul for which the penalty call is made. Elroy Smith gets the nod and he comes up with the most beautiful goal to get Belize onto the scoreboard. At the 38th minute, Dion McCauley launches this under pressure on the run right foot grounder that just inches outside the far upright. In late second half play, Antonio Rocha could double the score with this left foot blast, but the ball rises over the crossbar. Well, at least Belize gets its first win in this 2019 Nations League tournament play against a team that gave them a four zip crunch right here in their hometown. Now let's head to the People's Stadium where the OW Gladiators hosted the Coast Guard Guardians. 17 minutes in, Cynthia Salazar converts this penalty to give the Guardians a one-zip lead. Make it a 2 nil lead for the visitors of this corner kick from Nataki Alvarez, which finds Cynthia Salazar, whose header shakes the net at the 33rd minute. We're two minutes in to second half action when Cunha Callis sends this corner kick into the box. The defensive clearance reaches only as far as Nataki Alvarez, who makes it a Guardian 3 0 lead. Now watch Nadine Manzanero, who goes around Chanel Gentle to push the ball past the Guardian skipper. And we have a 3 1 ball game. In response, Chelsea Velasquez hooks up with Nataki Alvarez, frees up herself to launch a good-looking right foot shot that shakes the net to give the Guardians now a 4-1 lead. Cunha Callis makes her move to score. The OW keeper's intervention is not enough. Janelle Pott gets onto the scoreboard to make it 5-1. On the very next Guardian press, Gentle inadvertently takes down Sheila Pena. Chelsea Velasquez seizes the moment to get onto the scoreboard for the 6-1 lead. It's more Guardians when Chanel Gentle gets this open look at goal only to be denied by the keeper and Hele Flores. Cunha Callis wants her goal and she does get her goal to make it an 8-0 score at the 88th minute. Sarah Arzu seals the deal with this right foot shot that gives the Guardian the 8-1 big W. In other results, Verdes Rebels shook up Santaylena strikers in a whopping 11 to zip route. Stan Creek Joels edged Toledo Divas 2 to 1, and Altitude Chicks beat the Griga Warriors in a 3 1 affair. Five athletes from the Belize Association of Master Athletes they returned home on Monday after participating in the 22nd Central American Athletics Champions at this level. It was staged in Guatemala from October 10 to the 13th. These are the results. Tricia Flores, she won gold in the 100 meters, in the 200 meters, in the long jump, and in triple jump. Hey, you're still big, Tricia. Leslie Chung, she took silver in the 100 meters. Lawrence Craig, bronze in the shot put, silver in the long jump, and gold in the triple jump. Fred Evans, still going strong. He got gold in javelin, silver in shot put and discus. Philip Andrew, now that's a big surprise. He won bronze in the shot put, goal in the 100 meters, in the 200 meters, high jump and long jump. Mr. Andrew, you're big. Turning to the basketball scene, the two finalists in the inter-office leagues are tough enough and Dragons march past the opposition in two straight wins apiece. We caught up with the Dragons in action against Mars in game two at the Swift Center on Saturday night. Kevin Hamilton gets the Dragons rolling with this long deuce at two of his team high 11 points. Akeem Waters, he gets Mars going with this triple and he would put up all of 14 points. And here is the big man Faisal Ahmad as he sinks this triple and he would record the game high of 21 points. At the halfway mark, Marks, Mars leads 35 to 27. 
Dragons make a move in the third quarter. Gabriel Taylor works down low for two of his ten game points. After they shot by Hamilton, Ian Rene, he gets two of his nine. Guess what? At the end of three, Mars' lead is down to only two points. Abon Rivero finds himself unattended in the fourth, and he stops and pops for two. Faisal Ahmad, he answers with a triple as the ball game tightens. It's anybody's ball game now. Akeem Waters with the assist. Ryan Zuniga with the delivery for two of his ten points. But Mars find themselves down at two by two points now. With less than a minute to go, Kevin Hamilton sinks two freebies as Dragons go by five. Dragons win game two of the semis with a 62-56 to 56 score and are headed to the finals. They will face Tough Enough, who also won two straight in the semis to make it to the big dance. Get ready for fireworks. Hey folks, that's our show for today. Hope you enjoyed it. We return to our regular schedule next week. Ja! Overall, I'm James Adderley.